UNC is looking into closing 12 campuses in an attempt to save money. District leaders were met with major pushback tonight. KXN's Tom Miller live at district headquarters where tonight the district's employees union rallied against the idea. Tom? Robert, tonight the union's president is calling this proposal irresponsible, saying it has got to be stopped. Meantime, the district is responding that this is just a proposal, meaning it is not a done deal. The proposed cuts and closures being welcomed like a punch to the gut by Austin ISD's teachers and staff. I, 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 I can't even start to tell you what the impact of 12 schools were shut down. What we're seeing right now, we're already seeing people panic because of that. For the first time since floating the idea to shut down a dozen schools, the district's leaders are hearing it from the community face to face. You are pitting schools against schools. Now we are fighting against someone that we should be working with. Facing an estimated $65 million budget deficit next school year, the district is looking for ways to save money. In addition to the closures, the draft proposal calls for slashing $6.5 million from fine arts and a million from special education. All this while increasing the student to staff ratio. And so we've put out all the things that we think are feasible on the table for consideration and we'll be taking a closer look at those things in the coming months. Last week, the superintendent said the district is still looking into which schools to place on the chopping block. There are campuses that we know are under enrolled. Those 12 campuses are not identified. But we found some clues in the district's facilities master plan. It recommends consolidating five elementary schools, Brooke, Dawson, Jocelyn, Norman, and Sanchez elementaries. This is irresponsible is what this is. It must stop. We must do more. And I know that the district can do better. Now the union is urging the district to wait until after this upcoming legislative session before it decides where it needs to have closures and what it needs to cut. It is hoping that lawmakers rather than cuts around uh, the budget will actually bring this budget back into the black. Back to you. Tom, thanks. The Austin ISD is facing budget cuts because it keeps losing students and many are choosing charter schools instead. AISD data shows in 20, 2007 there were 17 charter schools in Austin serving just over 3,000 students and since then the growth of charter schools has been tremendous. Last year there were 42 charter schools serving more than 16,000 students in Austin. Also at tonight's meeting the school board renamed a campus for retired teacher Sarah Lively who was at tonight's meeting. There she is. Zachary Taylor Fulmore Middle School will now be known as Lively Middle School. Fulmore is the third school in Austin with ties to the Confederacy to officially be renamed.